Yo, what is going on guys, it's Cryptic TMG. I'm back with a brand new video. Today, I'm gonna to be doing the tier list for ACC cars, the 2022 tier list. We're currently on patch 1.8.1.8, I think, <laughs> something like that. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing the tier list to rank the cars and um, I feel like now the BOP has changed again. So I want to do something that's a little bit more up to date. I think the last time I did this was like maybe a year ago, even or even longer. So um. Let's get stuck into the video and uh, let's see where we rank the cars, man. And hopefully you guys can leave the com comments in the comment section below. I might leave the link as well so you guys can try it for yourself and post it in my Discord to see what you think the current order of the cars are. So let's get stuck into the video. All right, so here we go. We've only got about, about 12 cars. I think what I did is I, every car that had an Evo, I pull it in. If it doesn't have an Evo, then I didn't. No, if it doesn't have an Evo, then I pull it in. If it does have an Evo, then I didn't bother put the old cars in, like, you know, the older M6 and the older Audis and stuff like that. I just put all the Evos in and all the cars that are currently um, being used. Um, so, going through this, we've got the McLaren, Lexus, the Ferrari Evo, the NSX Evo, the Bentley, um, the Audi Evo 2, the AMG, Lamborghini, BMW M4, Aston Martin V8, the Porsche 991 and the Nissan GTR. So um, I'm probably gonna start off with, oh, let's just go from the start. The McLaren 720S. Um, it's not really a car that I've really driven a lot myself, but I would say probably, depending on the track, I mean, at the, at the moment, I haven't seen that many people in the McLaren. Um, I'm going to pull it as competitive for now. Um, I may change my mind later, uh, but let's, let's see. Um, you know, for the most part, I'm going to put the cars in then maybe jumble them around afterwards and, uh, see where I think each car stacks up. The Lexus, I'm not going to lie. I've seen nobody, nobody driving this car. No one. I don't believe it's like the worst car in this list. I believe it still does have um, some decent pace around certain tracks, but it's just not really, um, it's not really a car that's used at all at the moment. Um, I'm gonna drop it into the average pile, I think. The Ferrari 488 Evo. Um, for me personally, a lot of people gave this car, you know, they complain about the car, say it's got no acceleration, da 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 da. But if you look at, um, especially the, the top SRO esports events, this car is always there, bro. It's always near the front and it's been that way for a while. So I think people may not agree, but I think it is one of the OP cars. And if you look at the, um, if you look at the current state of affairs with the current BOP, it's probably one of the probably one of the only cars that has a chance of winning at the majority of circuits that we go to so i'm gonna put it in op for now the honda is just straight op right now um even more so than the ferrari and i'll talk a little bit about things to do with the bop afterwards but um yeah the bentley yikes this this is pretty much has been my favorite car um since it came out um, but right now I feel like it's kind of been killed. I haven't seen anyone driving it in AOR this season. I don't think anybody's picked a Bentley and that is, that is saying something. I think this is the first season where nobody, nobody has picked a Bentley. Maybe because I'm, I'm not in it, <laughs> but no, I would say, I mean, I've got to drop it in average right now, man. Some people may disagree, but the fact that so many, so many competitive drivers were using the Bentley like a few months back and now there's literally nobody in it. So that tells you all you need to know. The Audi, um, top tier viable, which means that on some tracks it is, you know, it has the possibility to win. I don't think it's one of the OP cars though. I must be honest. Um, the AMG, sheesh. This is a hard one because the AMG technically is top tier viable, but it only seems to be top tier viable in certain people's hands. If we're talking about maybe Kevin Zaclari shins or 
um, unicorns of love then them guys seem to be able to get a tune out of the car but most other people tend to struggle but i will pull it as top tier viable but only in the hands of some of the very best i would say um again it's a similar story with the lamborghini but i would say even less so because apart from jordan sherrett i don't see anyone doing anything with this car <laughs> like anybody um and maybe to mix it around because is the mclaren more competitive over a full calendar season than the audi and the, and the amg it's very difficult and i definitely think that the, the mclaren is a better car than the lamborghini um that's actually a hard one again same pretty much similar with the with the um bmw m4 you know it is i mean after the nerfs that it got in recent updates i don't think it is i, I can't i don't think it's a top tier viable car anymore maybe it has maybe one track where it is competitive maybe but for the most part you know I, I, you know if, if you put all the tracks on the game into a calendar how many times do you think that the m4 would come out on top you know that's that's the issue that i'm having so top tier viable for me you need to be able to win at least at least on three or four separate tracks and i don't think don't think the m4 has you know four tracks in it over the calendar where it is definitely going to be the favorite you know um it's hard though i'm gonna put it i'll put it ahead of the lambo i don't quite think it has an, as much in the tank as the mclaren maybe the mclaren is in the wrong tier maybe the mclaren should be top tier viable um aston martin at the moment again it is competitive i mean a lot of people are choosing this car is it top tier viable it did get a substantial buff but is it more likely to win a race than a mclaren damn this is actually difficult it's not as difficult as the driver the driver um tier list but it's still pretty difficult the porsche i'm gonna say it's top tier viable right now is it op is it op i think that straight line weakness really is a weakness because it makes the car not raceable when you're in wheel to wheel battles with other people um but when the porsche is fast at a track it literally is almost unbeatable it is it's, it's a very very hard decision to make um gtr is just bro i don't want to put it as bin juice because you know i like the car but at the same time you ain't doing nothing in a, in a, in a, in a gtr man let's be honest <laughs> like you're not going anywhere fast in that car all right um let's let's sort out the order let's sort out the order is the audi any more likely than a mclaren or an amg I don't really see uh do i see audi's really being at the front unless we're talking about kiel army or maybe maybe kota but since you know that straight line nerf that the that audi got it's just not been the same but it is a quick car I'm, you know i'm gonna go ahead and put the porsche in op is a porsche more op than a ferrari i feel like the ferrari is good everywhere especially it has very good tire wear as well um it doesn't have that many tracks where it's just god awful you know um the mclaren and the aston i think the aston's definitely improved and i'm not sure the mclaren is only competitive maybe the mclaren is top tier viable i don't know i don't drive the mclaren enough but i've there's definitely tracks where the mclaren is pretty quick i would say in fact i would say the mclaren probably should head this list and i'd put the aston in front of the amg i think um 
And again, because of the nerf to the Bentley, and because I've not seen much people driving a Bentley, I don't know whether the Bentley is a more competitive option than the Lamborghini. The Lamborghini only seems to be a decent option when Jordan Sherratt's driving it. I don't see anybody else trying to touch this car at all. So, you know what? I, I even want to stick it down. I'm not going to lie. We, we're, we're basing this off of Sherratt, who's extremely talented. But how many Lamborghinis do you see doing well? in any championship across the board in anything not many and i would say in race trim the bentley probably is probably a better option i'm not gonna lie um but as i said that the recent nerf to the bentley kind of has yeah, kind of put it down in my estimation i mean some people might think i'm wrong some people may think the lamborghini should be higher up um i don't know but in terms of the top tier viable cars, we're looking at McLaren, Audi, Aston, AMG. Is that list the right way round? Over a full calendar, how many times would a McLaren outdo an Audi, an Aston, and an AMG? Um, that's a tough one. That is a tough one, man. I think I kind of got it close though. Ferrari versus Porsche. Mm. I'm not too sure which one of those is the strongest of the two. Um, but definitely right now, I would say that the, the NSX Evo is ridiculously strong, man. And I, I, I generally don't know why. But um, right now, I'd say the NSX is that, that car. Um... For, for, for me, Ferrari's up there. Some people might not think the Ferrari's OP, but the Ferrari's been strong for a little while now. It's fast everywhere. You can do quite a lot of things with the setup you can get away with. You can run like super low wing and still make it around the circuit. So I feel like the Ferrari's like a lot more versatile. Plus it's very good on tires, man. And in race stream, it's extremely good. And if you look at SRO, the results, the SRO, they don't lie. The Ferraris are always, always near the front, always. Um, that being said, right now, I believe the Honda, maybe not, maybe not all the way on race trim. Cause I don't think the Honda looks after its tires as well as the Ferrari, but the Honda definitely has, you know, the, the raw pace, you know, and I, I, I'm not quite sure why they've chosen to give the Honda such a buff, um, the Porsche is there, but I think what really lets down the Porsche is the straight line speed, man. The car is so slow in a straight line. And if you get into a situation where you, you're able to match the lap times of the fastest guys, but you actually have to race them on the track, it's two different stories, man. You can't overtake and it's very hard to defend, you know? So um, I, I think my list is okay. I think it's kind of accurate. I know that Aston got a big buff, so I'm not sure whether it comes ahead of the Audi or not. Um, it's a tough one because Aston's a very good car. And over over a race distance, over a calendar, probably could be just as fast, if not faster than the Audi. But it's just very, very hard to know. Um, the BMW and the AMG. Some may say these two cars are closer than what I've got them at the moment. Um, but again, it seems to be... The problem with ATC at the moment, it seems to be the same drivers who are able to get the maximum out of these cars. All right, so you've got like, you know, Shins and the Seclaris, Tobias Grumbold and all those guys in the AMG and they make it look absolutely rapid. But then when it's in everybody else's hands, it just looks like a car that's kind of a, kind of a struggle car. Um, then you got the BMW with Nils and Camera, Stapleford, Gregor Schill. Those guys do amazing work in the BMW. But then you put it in other people's hands and it's just nowhere near the front, you know? Um, so it's, it's a tough one. But I do think the nerf that the BMW got kind of takes it away from being a serial race winner. 
kind of takes it away from being top tier viable. I don't feel like it has that many tracks where, you know, you can expect the BMW to win. Of course, you can battle for the top 10 and whatnot, but for the actual race wins at the highest level with all the fastest guys, do I see M4s winning races, racing, race out? No. <laughs> okay. So that is kind of where it is. And I just wanted to quickly talk about the, the, the BOP in ACC. And I feel like the BOP in this game, the best time or for me, the, when the BOP was best, I have to admit, I think it was pretty much like end of 2018, beginning of 2019. After they kind of nerfed the Bentley's race pace a little bit, because the Bentley used to be super fast. And I remember back then, the Audi was fast. The original Lambo was fast. The Bentley was fast. The AMG was fast. Um, what other car? The Ferrari was fast. And it just felt like there was more cars like that you could win races with, man. The Lexus was fast. I, I remember racing at Paul Ricard and the, the top like six or seven were all in different cars, but no one could pull away from anybody because the cars were so close and since then we've kind of got to this stage where every car has just had its its time at the front kind of and it's, it's just a bit weird because some of the cars that seem to lead the pack is cars that we just don't see at all in real life doing anything of the sort so it's a little bit weird I mean the mclaren had his time at the front for a long while it took them quite a long time to slow the mclaren down um you had that stage where the aston martin was rapid and it was rapid in the wet and stuff you had a time when the lexus was ridiculously fast in the wet we had that stage of course um there's a stage where i felt like the ferrari just didn't have any weakness. well the ferrari still doesn't really have any weaknesses we had the porsche stage where it was an absolute joke but that, that stay, it didn't last too long. The Porsche era didn't last too, too long. We had a little Bent Bentley stage, which was more to do with the race pace than anything. And of course, when the M4 first came out, we had the stage where the M4 was just so easy to drive, so nice to drive. It was fast and obviously it had a little OP stage there as well. The Audi had a very short stay at the front with the straight line speed, but it, it feels like we're just kind of not getting the balance right. I don't have a problem with certain cars being OP. I just think if you're going to make cars OP, at least make it be the cars that we see in the real world that are at the front. You know, I don't want to jump on the game and see cars like the Honda and the Aston Martin V8, which you don't see do anything in the real world, at least not in the in the world um, in the World Championship, uh, SRO World Championship. And then you jump on the game and all the cars that you see in the real world that are towards the front, you can't do jack shit in, you know? Like the, the the AMG should be up there, definitely. The Audi should be up there, definitely. And then after that, you can probably say the Porsche and the Ferrari, you know, should be maybe in the mix a little bit and go from there. But um, it just seems that we always have cars that are just <laughs> not really, you know, serial winners, but always at the front on the game. It was the same with the McLaren. The McLaren wasn't really destroying it in the, in the world endurance championship sro championship but on the game it was just like formidable so I'm, I'm not too sure why they do that i'm not too sure why at the moment we have you know um a honda that is just insanely fast but i feel like they can balance things out a little bit you know they could balance it out more and i feel like they shouldn't wait to adjust bop man they see something there's so many top leagues of so many esports drivers when these drivers are in these cars and you can literally see guys that are normally within temps of each other, but they jump in different cars and all of a sudden there's four, five, six temps gap. I feel like you can, you know, there's room to improve the BOP and not make it take so long, you know, because all you see in AOR, you see it. every time there's a BOP change and a car is OP, everybody just jumps in the same car and it just becomes kind of boring. And we've seen it in the first couple of races already in the AOR. It's literally Ferrari versus Honda at the moment. So, um, yeah, that's the way how it is. But hopefully one day they will change and improve stuff. But anyway, guys, that is about it for the video. As I said, I'll leave a link in the description below. 
put your tier list in check out the discord and also go make sure you subscribe to my second channel as well because i'm going to be moving all my gta content back over there and all the other content i feel like doing on that channel all right so make sure you go do that guys anyway it's crypto tmg like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace